Good day viewers, I'm Okocha Happy Marcel and this is my channel. Beavers is already to the rescue of Mr. Peter Obi. Normandy in Nigeria, rigging of election is something that has been normalized throughout the election from the councillorship to the presidency. Almost all the whole election is marred by violence, voter suppression, and the political end it will always take advantage of the poor masses by using their money to intimidate them, to rig against their wish. This has become something that people call normal in Nigerian elections. But in the case of Mr. Pitobi, the case is different. The case is different not because Pitobi is a different kind of saint, even though that the political elites one time in the past rigged against him and he went to court and he secured his victory as a governor through the court. That does not mean that he is so special that he will just get his victory back easily. But the Electoral Act of 2022 now become a game changer and that is why the Beavers is now to the rescue of Mr. Peter Obi. Now, Talking about the electronic transmission of results through the beavers, it sounds so familiar to people, but people don't know what it is. People don't know how, you know, voluminous this electronic transmission of results is. People are just thinking that it's just a mere something that people talk about. But now I want to expand what it means. When you go to the electoral act of 2022, session 47, session 60, and session 64, of this electoral act of 2022 introduce a framework for the seamless electronic accreditation and transmission of votes into the Nigerian's electoral system. Attempt pursuant to its power under section 148 electoral act, the INEC issued guidelines launching the use of the biomodal voter accreditation system, that is BIVAS, for a seamless and transparent accreditation and online and offline transmission of result in 2023 elections and beyond. So, this is what the law stipulates. The law empowers the INEC. And that is the reason why, before the election, you could hear the INEC chairman, Professor ya uh, Yakubu Mahmoud, saying all sorts of things. What he was saying was right. He was saying it according to the electoral. Well, not, let me once again reassure Nigerians that there is no going back on the deployment of the bimodal voter accreditation system, BIVAS for voter accreditation. There is no going back on the transmission of results on the INEC result viewing portal in real time on election day. There will be no incident form that enables ineligible persons to vote using other people's permanent voters' cards during elections. We are committed to ensuring that the 2023 general election is transparent and credible, reflecting the will of the Nigerian people. But the problem people have with Mahmoud is that for him not to be able to implement the electoral act and all those things he has said, people are now saying that, oh no, this man must have been influenced either by bribing, you know, bribery, corruption, or other things, maybe fear of intimidation, I don't really know. But for him to be able, to educate the masses through his videos he did in national televisions and also the INEC staff that is in charge of voters' education, Barrister Festos Okoye. He came and told the people that this is what the electoral has to put this. This is the way we are going to go. But after the election, they came and begin to say, oh, it's not compulsory that we should do this, that we should do that. But before the election, they said the law makes it compulsory. That is not the only issue. Reminding you on the role of beavers played in upholding the election of identity of PDP in Ocean State. Listen to what the Supreme Court says. According to the Supreme Court, as published by the Guardian um, newspaper as shown in the stream, it said, based on INEC regulation and guidelines, election result can only be connected if the result agreed with the figure in the beavers and the one transmitted to the INEC result viewing portal, IREF. It is, it is glaring that the appendants could not prove over voting the court head. So that is what delivered identity. The Supreme Court says that based on the Electoral Act and INEC regulations, that election result can only, mark the word, it can only be collected if the result agrees with the figures in the beavers. And that is the problem 
we are having with the 2023 presidential election that the figures we have does not agree with what INET called. The, 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 the figures in the IRF, the figures in the Beavers, it does not match the result INET declared. So, where do they see the result they declared? Can you see how the beavers is coming to the rescue of, B of B2B? I know that there are so many issues, issues at the court. So that is why P2B have the chances, all the whole chances of becoming the next Nigerian president. After all, the first president to be declared by the court. So this is the issue that people don't want you to have the knowledge about. Why am I saying this? Today is the first day of July. And next tomorrow being Monday, the court is going to sit and INEC will come and defend themselves. So people have been waiting to understand the nature of defense and what the INEC have, what they, what they are capable of doing. People are waiting for them to come and lie <laughs> to the general public. But though it's not possible, neighbor party in their own knowledge, the neighbor team, they have already submitted the video evidence that implicated the INEC chairman, the INEC staffs, everything they said as stipulated by the electoral act. They have presented it to the... Um, to the court of appeal. So, how will INEC chairman or the Nego team come out now to defend INEC? How is it possible? Can you see how these beavers have come to the rescue of Mr. Peter B? You know, Mr. Peter B have tendered, as I explained in my video during the tendering of evidence, Peter B have tendered the IREV result from the 36 states. He have tendered the ECAs, that is the result from the punding unit. And after the figures, tabulation and everything, after they brought the professor um, of statistics to cross-check and examine all those things, you saw what happened at the court. The figures did not match. So, that is to tell you that this election would be to the favor of Mr. Peter B. He said, I won the election and I will prove it to the Nigerians that I won it. And this is the only reason why so many Nigerians are having confidence, are having faith, because what happened during the election is enough to make people not to be patriotic, to make people not to have faith in Nigeria. But because of the person they are supporting, the person they are voting, asks them to calm down, that he is going to recover their mandate, that the vote they cast is not waste. That is the confidence. You understand to me, the vote, the support you gave, anybody you gave your support, that you feel that your will has been suppressed, that message from Peter B is for you, that your mandate will be restored through the court. And I know that a lot of people have been saying this is not possible. In Nigeria, history has never been made that somebody won through the court as a president. It can't happen. Yes, this is the same issue they were saying before Peter B won as a governor through the court. So there is time and season for everything. There is a time to rig an election and score free. There is a time to rig and be caught. There is a time that we come, it will become the seasons of the people, not the seasons of the political elite. This is the seasons of the people. This is not the seasons of the political elite. The political elite has done a lot of evil against our country, Nigeria. But this time around is the time of the masses. And the battle to save Nigeria, the battle to make Nigeria to become a better state, is a battle that we are not going to retrieve and we are not going to surrender. And that is why we have full support for P2B. We have full support to him. We encourage him. We make him feel that, yes, we are still standing by him. Because this is not all about Mr. Peter Obi. This is about us. This is about our future. This is about our destiny. This is about where we are going to. This is all about our children and generations to come. These political elite, including P2B, these people are billionaires. These people have it all. They don't need even to become a political elite, um, uh, to become a, a political office holder, to have money again or to do anything. These people are already billionaire. So that is why Anytime um, I see somebody who is fighting right for the interest of general masses, I support the person because I know that the person is fighting not just for himself, but for the rest of the masses. So, Bifas has already come to the rescue of P2B. Let us cross our finger to the end of this uh, court of appeal proceeding that we end in August 12th. And after August 12th, if the decision, anybody that does not like the decision of the court of appeal, um, should go to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court will still have time to have their cases and at the end victory must be sure and this is what we have been looking up to that a new Nigeria is possible not by what people think but by the will of the people because democracy is all about the people the government of majority and minority cannot come out to uphold 
their wish against the majority of people that voted for Mr. Peter B. I am Okocha P. Marcel. This is my channel. Kindly subscribe if you have not. Share my videos. I appreciate your time watching this video. Thank you.